and welcome back to Map to Say Hey in a Slave episode 12. Let's get straight into this. The final episode. One, two, three, go! We're not starting with the usual. So you know that it's the final episode. Also, I was like, while this was like getting ready, I was like download not downloading. Well, I was doing that as well. But I was like searching up. There are two moons right now. I was like searching up. It's like, oh, really? Just like that. <laughs> I was searching up what series I could recommend. I have a full list for this. There's a lot of series that are very similar to this. <laughs> like in terms of like concept where like the guy is kind of like there and then like the women, let's go women, <laughs> rise up are like the special ones here. There's a lot of series like this. と my bad. Anyways, Tenka is the most scariest out of everyone. <laughs> the, now those type of women scare me. They're so aggressive. It's, you, just, you just can't put it. Ooh. Right, homecoming new resolve. Oh. Oh, she is. Okay. <laughs> Damn, that person's butt. Ooh. Oh, it's probably her friend. And then. Damn! That did just smush that. Ooh. And now we're here, okay. Yeah, no, she personally wants to kill the Ippons, you know? The, the, basically the unicorn. <laughs> Ooh, nice, Yuki! Ooh! Are you just gonna watch? Oh my god. I, I mean... Huh. Ooh. Oh my god! Slave support fixed it! What a tight- Oh! Your finger! Ooh! Ooh! Oh! Oh, your wrist is gone! Your finger is gone! Oh my god! <laughs> uh. Why is this thing like- It's shedding! What are you- Oh, what is that form? Oh, it's a spider. No, I can't do that. No, what is that? What are you, a salamander? What on earth? Oh, it's a... Ugh, I don't like how it's moving. What? What is this? I got a lobster. What? Are you good? Ooh, it's like some crawfish. I'm naming all the random... Oh, no. Yeah, no, he can't move from that spot. Ooh! 
He got stabbed. I'm not gonna lie. I thought he was stop. Oh lord. Oh damn. Oh, don't tell me he's gonna like shed his skin again. Oh, oh what? A oh, unicorn. Oh, he's gonna get. Oh, I thought he was gonna get the neck. Oh my god. Ooh! She, oh, get, God, come on! Ooh! Damn! <laughs> Yo! Yeah. Where are we? Is that the core? You kill it! Smash it! Think are you good? Oh? She said bye-bye. <laughs> she said bye-bye. <laughs> Wait, what about your sister? I know the other two are gone, but is your sister still here? Like, you all just reunited. So you're, like, kind of done with... Not really, but, like... Oh. Four. Yeah. Mm. Or? Mm. I don't think so. Maybe. Who knows? Orphanage? Who knows? Huh. Ah, uh, Yuki. Mm. Mm. I swear to God. Oh. Oh, there we go. She's gonna get up and she's gonna go help find the two. Tinka, you good! Well, instead of like, yeah, protect them, but like, let's work together. Come on. Yeah, three, six, and seven squad. I wouldn't know about that. Mm, they've been through much. Yeah, no, yeah, I wouldn't try. Honestly, good, good, good call. Mm. How many people are there? Mm. No, it's mainly... Once you guys get... Yeah. I mean, you could, come on, obviously. There's a reason why they, the commander wants you you to, like, you know, talk with them instead of kill them. Like, capture them alive. Oh, she's scary? That is true. I mean, you have a thing with, like, Yuki, that's why. We don't even know what this woman looks like. I mean, it's Yuki, let's be honest. It's not like she won't be able to find you. That's true, from the inside. It won't be that long. She just has to become commander. 
Come on. Come on! You know the answer, Yuki! What the hell? <laughs> oh, come on. Now I'm wondering if her parents are here. I'll be interested in that. Oh. Okay, now I'm worried about what Kyoka is gonna. Are they gonna like what? What? What the hell happened? <laughs> Cause I'm scared, Kyoka. You beat up a big injury. Please do, girl. You were like dead last episode. <laughs> She's like, I'm hurt. Ooh. Oh my fucking lord. <laughs> girl, please. Girl, bro. <laughs> Yay, yay. <laughs> I can't with this girl. I'm not a fucking feather. Oh. oh, they're gonna be alone. Oh. Oh, this is gonna be a long night. <laughs> about your sister, right? Oh, and the other side. Will they tell Nay about this? I guess they'll update her later on. I don't want to say. I like Yuki's form like this, the slave form. He just look he's just like a kid cute. Oh he's so cute. <laughs> I love it. Is she gonna I thought she was gonna trip, not gonna lie, I thought she was gonna Oh no, he's so cute I can't. He's so cute. Oh fuck. Oh shit, I'm scared. I'm scared. They're gonna go at it. Y'all are gonna have to like go to a room, just be there for a night. Well, you going with him into the shower. Oh my fucking lord. <laughs> oh, look at that in for the whole night. Bro! Oh fucking lord. Yeah, no, they're gonna do it. <laughs> yeah! Wow! Damn, girl! Yeah, no, they're gonna do it. It's this is 12.5. Wow, okay. Damn, girl. <laughs> Whoa. Ah! <laughs> sleeping? <laughs> oh, really? It's just sleep. Bro. Bro, that's not even just okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, she did that. Oh no! What are you gonna do? Are they gonna, they gonna wrestle? Ooh. They are gonna wrestle. Ooh, ooh, damn! Oh, oh wow, they're actually wrestling, wrestling! <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I mean. Yeah. Damn, girl. Ooh. Hey, he, wait, tap out. You can tap out, tap out. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Hey. <laughs> Did he knock out? Yeah, he knocked out! Ooh. Oh my god. There's only one pillow? I'm so sorry. I'm so- Time out. One pillow? <laughs> At least got two! Oh, what is that?
my god, that actually made me tear up. Oh, that is disgusting. What was that? Yeah, hey, that's you. <laughs> oh my god, thank god, please. Oh my god, that actually made me tear up. Oh, that was disgusting. Look at it. That man is great, Yachio. How dare you? Oh my god. I can't with this girl. <laughs> well, that's nice. Hmm. Oh. I love how they don't really have like that discur hold well they did in the beginning, but now it's just like who cares? He's just a part of the team. Gender don't matter. Everybody loves him. Oh especially Shushu. So it's like Shushu, Kyoka, Tenka. These two are like these three are just like whatever. Oh my god. And they is just me. Hmm. <laughs> God. Oh, they finally accepted you. That, that honestly, same. Oh, <laughs> man. That's a sister. That's a sister. I just gonna come find you. Let's be honest. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, no. Yo, come on. Uh, I mean, I knew that this was gonna be how it's gonna end. I doubt there will be a second season. It's a bit tricky when it comes. This is not gonna lie. This is like a typical setup for like an anime. Hmm. As sad as it is, like there's so many questions. Like they just showed up a fucking demon egg. Oh. Oh. She'll know where you are. Watch her tap on the window. It's like, oh wait, it's like. She left immediately. <laughs> what? Her hand. Her hand. <laughs> uh, what time is it? Probably like 6 a.m. Yo! <coughs> Yo. <coughs> oh, I can't get, they keep on. <laughs> It's not what you think. <laughs> Humanity is not what you think. Mm. <clears throat> Can you copy Yuki's ability? Is that even an ability? Ah! <laughs> oh God. Oh, poor Shishu! Girl! <laughs> 
what? Oh, you're doing the push and pull, the, yeah. You sure about that? <laughs> oh, please. Oh, God. <clears throat> Yeah, it's just gonna be a typical day. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, um, I don't see a second season coming through. <laughs> They're basically telling us, Go and read! Or go... Like, yeah, go read. Hmm. That's cute. Are you gonna go to... Oh, damn, girl! Oh, I mean, boy. <clears throat> They give me, gonna give me the ending. Come on. They give me the opening. Come on. Give me the ending. Another rare, rare pot where you see. This, this one is like, when it comes to the songs, I guess it's like a bit rare. Because you don't usually get the opening and ending like this on the last episode. Usually like they give, they might give like no opening and like the full version of the ending or like no ending and only the opening. Oh, they brought. Oh, yeah. We're not getting a second season. <laughs> oh, not the. Ah, oh, Odessa. Yeah, no, we have to go. Yeah, no, no. This is. I'll, I'll talk about it later. But like, bro, this is exactly like what a two thousand two like ten ish anime series would be like. There is. They just leave at a cliffhanger. Like, how is this the second last episode? Okay. This is the last time, man! And I love this song! Let's go! Hey! Woo! Okay, I'll try, I'll try. <clears throat> Who? どれくだけじゃ一つ二つ枕るたびに I'm gonna miss. Oh, please don't let go. I'm gonna miss this series. Mainly for the op the ending. <laughs> Mainly for the ending. Aww. Uchinabaya, come back! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay, y'all. So, what I wanted to say, what I wanted to put emphasis on, if y'all know, if y'all know, what anime was like in the in the early like 2010 10s 2000 like 2010s you would know you would know this is exactly how they end the freaking series <laughs> oh like nowadays they don't really okay nowadays they don't really have like the typical like they don't do uh, i mean no, they do do this. It's just that the the animes I focus on don't really do this. But the other, but like in general, like the main, because even for like the main like series animes, they kind of do this kind of thing. But like if there's a chance for a second season, they make it seem like nothing happened in the first season, and it's like previously on whatever whatever show. So, so it's not it's not like I'm saying it's not possible, but it's very unlikely for the series to get a second season especially with how they ended it off like this um but yeah in general that's just how it works so this just reminds it, it i don't not even i don't know i know this this just took me back into a time like on a tra time travel trip it just felt like i was back watch like this could pass off as an anime that showed up in 2010 <laughs> maybe later
late 2010s. I, I would give it some credit, okay? <laughs> Pre-COVID. Pre-COVID. Let's do that. Let's do that. Oh. That being said, bro, I got a list. <laughs> I got a list list. And there, if you look at it, you can kind of see what the similarity is. I'm not going to lie. You can directly just look at the cover image of each of the series that I named. Except for maybe one or two. Not one or two. Let me see. Um, Except for two series. I don't even know why I put that series there. I honestly don't know. Maybe I made like a... Maybe it was in relation to how, like, there's something secret going on between, like, the in the government and then there's, like, the whole ability situation. Oh, I don't know. I don't. So, I, in the, on the list, I put Owani no Serafu. And I don't know why. I don't remember. So, there were, like, three series that I had on here before I, like, added more. The first one was High School DXD, which, yeah, honestly, yes. The other one was Medica Box, and I'm trying to think, it's like, why would I put Medica, Medica Box here? I think it was mainly because of, like, the different abilities. So, somewhat makes sense, but this one's mainly for the abilities. I'll get to, I'll get back to the others and say, and explain in detail why I'm talking about it like this. And then the third one was Owari no Serafu. Hmm. I don't know why I put that there. <laughs> I'll put it there because I, I probably explained it like in the earlier episodes. I don't know why, but I'm going to put it there. Anyways, it must be like a revenge thing or like something like that. You know what? I honestly don't know. Anyway, school-wise. It can't, this can't get a 10. It's not something that I would wholeheartedly recommend, mainly because like this, this is, this is, this is, this is R18. <laughs> this is not something I would recommend to a child. Um, or like someone who's first watching it. Like, you show them this and they'll be like, oh my god. Anime. This is why hentai. Like, they're not even going to call it anime. They'll be like, ah, this is a hentai, you know. It is not. At best, it is etchy. Anyways. Um, that being said. It can't be a 10. 9 is a bit too high. It is a bit too high. I'm thinking like, it has to be above five because the, the, the ending song alone, the ending and opening song, I can't, I can't, I can't. And like the concept, concept wise was very interesting. And overall, how can I say no to Yuki's goddamn cute face when he's transformed? When he's, as a human, I don't really care. But when he's transformed, like, did you see in this episode? He was so, oh my God, I can't. He's just so cute. <laughs> Oh god, so that alone can get a 10 from my from my heart. Just Yuki smiling in his in his form like that, in the slave form. Oh my heart was so happy. <laughs> I was so happy. So that being said, it's above a five. It's above a six. Yes, I think it's above a six. So then would that be a seven? Because it's I don't think it's an eight. Eight is too high. Cause like just for just like the other series, the other series, the main difference here is that all the series I'm about to state, they kind of have a second season. I say kinda, cause not all of them, but like like literally majority of them, except for like one, yeah, except for one series, they all have like a sequel. <laughs> so that's how they get their score up. If this got a se like a second season, maybe, but I highly doubt they will have a second season. Hmm. You know what? Because of Yuki's Yuki's cute form and him just like, they gave us service this this week. I'll give it seven out of ten. I feel like that's a bit too high, but you know what? Boohoo. And besides the 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 casting here is also incredible. So you know what? Another 10 points for that, but not for this whole series as a told as a whole anyway, so that being said Okay, now we're gonna go through the list and I'm gonna explain like you got like don't I don't even have to explain Just look at the covers cover like image for all of the series and then come back to this Then you'll see it's like ah, I see why so the first one is high school DXD <laughs> Second one 
Samurai. Samurai Girls. Now, I for this series, I don't even know. There's, 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 there's definitely a, a community for this series. But I haven't heard about it as much. Like, I watched this. When did it come out? It came in 2010. So I watched it around like 2000. I was I started I finished the first season and then when the second one was coming out, I was I watched that as it was coming out. So that was like 2013. Okay, so I started okay, now I remember. So I started in like 2012ish maybe. So that's when like the first I watched like the first season and then I watched the second season on as it, as it was going. And then they had like different OVAs and stuff like so this <laughs> this one <laughs> This one, I honestly would just recommend just for the opening. The opening is so great. <laughs> Same for High School DxD as well. So yeah, Hyakka Ronan, Samurai Girls, I would also recommend. Um, I know the guy, no, the girl's name was Jubei. What was it? Mune Akira, Mune Akira, right, right. I just find it funny that Kugimi, na, Kugimi Arie is also here. And she's basically the typical Sundere girl. But yeah, they, and I keep, oh, right. Matabe was Kobayashi Yu! Aha! <laughs> There's a lot of fun people here voicing uh, some some fun characters. Oh, overall, I... That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. I, I recommend it. I recommend it. So that being said, obviously if I recommend this, I have to recommend Sekirei. <laughs> obviously. So Sekirei I also watched like later on, but like this one's also... You know, so as you can see, it kind of has some kind of like... There's a pattern going on, obviously. Just from these three alone, you can already see a pattern. So each of them have they have basically somewhat of a hard end, but like an abundance of strong girls with their own abilities. And then there's the one male character who, in a way, bring out the best in each of the girls. You know, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So that's something like that. Sekide also has like. I know there's like the sequel and stuff like that. The sequel is where it gets interesting, cause they bring it. Ho they br they focus a lot on Homura, and I love Homura. <laughs> I love Homura so much. Anyways, so there's that going on there. So I recommend that. Th so those are like my top three. Moving on, <laughs> I put Rosario Rosario to Rosario to Vampire Vampire. So this one also kind of goes. In, in this in, in, in the same direction again yet again because obviously there's um what's his name Sukune Sukune there's Sukune well there are other guys but like Sukune is like the main one and then like Sukune is there and then all the other girls like Misore Moka Kurumu Yukari if you want to count in Ruby as well Ruby and Koko if you want Kokoa whatever I you can even count the freaking teacher Shizuka if you want. But yeah, this one also has like a se season two as well, where they bring in all. Oh, okay, so this is where they bring Cocoa. But anyways, you get the point. But yeah, um, this one, not gonna lie, if you're gonna stop this series, yeah, yeah watch the anime because because Nanami's key is great. Like her, the songs that she sings, yeah, because she's the main character here. And I know, she, wait, Cookie Mia is Mizone. Really, I did not know that. I did, I did not know that. It's been, it's, this came out in like, the second season came out in 2008. So this is like, er, like late 2000s. So I barely remember what they sound like. I remember what the opening was, opening and ending is like, and Nana Mizuki just killed it in both of those. Um, I did not know that was cooking. Really? I might have to, you know what? I might make a rewatch for this. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I highly recommend this, but. Rather than like, yeah, you can watch the anime. And, uh, the anime though, it kind of reminds me of like, if you watch High School DxD, you, you can kind of see the difference between like the seasons, like season one and season two. Season one in particular was very fan service heavy. Season two, somewhat while they were trying to put in some plot, and then season three was just like plot, <laughs> like actual story plot. Rosario to Vamp Vampire kind of did that formula with like season one and season two but they barely had like story plot plot but they put like fan service plot so the anime is com like when you read the manga in its whole entirety it's a lot different so i would like watch this just for the voice cast <laughs> just for the voice actor actress actresses and actors 
and then go to the manga. I highly recommend the manga a lot more because there's so much going on there and there's like actual stuff going on that makes a lot of sense and it's like, oh my god, this is not what did like the anime did not do justice for this series, unfortunately. So I highly recommend the manga. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put watch anime and then go to manga. Please. Okay. So yeah, that's what I would put. And then um after that we have more. We have more on the list. Another another one I'll put is Data Life. Do I even have to explain? It's just yeah, Data Life. <laughs> I, okay, now I know I don't talk about this series as much. I did watch it, like, when I was, like, when it was first airing, I did watch it. And I had fun. And then they started to have, like, what, five series? <laughs> like, five seasons <laughs> or something? How many seasons that does it have? I know there's, like, the movies coming out. And then I'm pretty sure they have, like, something else out. No? How many seasons does Data Live have? Data Live seasons. It's like up to five, no? Oh, okay. Season five will be coming out. Okay. So I was right. I remember it because... Oh, okay, there we go. There we go. So the latest one was season four and like like that, which was like two years ago. And then season five will be coming out later this year. So it's like every like two, like two or three years. The, the, the longest one, I guess, in between was like the five-year one. It's been a while since I've, <laughs> since I've been up to date with Data Live. Because I... It, I kind of, like, I stopped, like, I kept watching. I was up to date up to, like, season two. And then season three, I had to stop because I was, like, I got busy. <laughs> I got busy <laughs> because it was 2019. I got busy. So, yeah. Season one and two, kind of remember, a bit iffy. Could, could, don't even get me started with the names. Uh, Toka, right, right, right. And then the other girl, the, the main girl, Kurumi. <laughs> The one and only. I like the twins though. Yuzu, yeah. What is it? Yuzu, Yuzuru, and Kaguya. Well, I like these two, but Yoshino was the best for me. <laughs> she was so cute with like the little bunny. Kotori is great too. Anyways, going back to yeah. So I would recommend that. Obviously, you can kind of see just from this alone. Again, you can already see the pattern. Strong, independent woman. One male who brings out the best in them. If you wanna, if you wanna put it like that. And then this other one, I just kind of just like thought of this and I really want to put emphasis on this. This is just for like comedy sakes. Kempha. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mainly just want to put emphasis on this because like the series itself is just fun. It's, it's just a comedic series. And like, yeah, it has a, it has the same like, for, like the same, uh, what do you call it? ingredients or like recipes recipe that like all of them have like the main girls the guy is there you just have to find out who the guy is but the guy is there and um yeah anime this one also it's it's more this one is more of a fan service anime so like he, on the list here you can kind of see which ones are the fan service animes? So like High School DxD, the first two seasons fan school fan school fan service anime for those two specific seasons, and then later on it's more plot, and then that's why I put it at number as number one because it has a good mixture, which is similar to Mato Seihei because that this one obviously there's like the fan service, but there's also plot. Unfortunately, they didn't have much room to put for the plot plot. Like they put like the normal like the f fan service plot but like the actual like story plot like they they'll put in as much as they can but obviously they only have 12 episodes so there's so much you can do with just 12 episodes each each week being like 24 hours 24 minutes per episode it, it's very difficult so that being the case that's going to be difficult over there in just general they just this this is the equivalent of what's happening in Matosei. <laughs> the the boobs showing up, the panties, the misunderstandings, etc. The, the girls going on top of the guy. Yeah, so there's that going on. Sekire also similar, very similar. Rosario Rosario to Vampire. Do they have a moment like that? I think they do. They have like specials and stuff, but it's not as outgoing and then data live they have their own situation campfire yes they do um 
And then, well, they they try because Kempa is one of the older ones. They, they do cover it. They try to censor it up as much as they can. But like, you know, it's, it's, you know what it is. Okay, the next one. I'm, I I want to. <laughs> it's forty minutes already. Medical box. I mainly put this. I remember clearly why I put this. I put this mainly because of like the different abilities we see in Matosehe. This one has different abilities. So this one is a bit different from like the other ones. This one and the next one, which is Owari no Serifu, which I don't remember why I put. But this one, Medical Box, I highly recommend, mainly because I love the anime. I love first and second season, and I love the OVA with Kumagawa being the main, and I love the manga goddamn so much! Zenkichi is so good! Anyways. <laughs> and Kumagawa, my boy, I love that man. Anyways. I highly recommend this one. I did put it a bit more down on the list, mainly because when it comes to like, would I, would people who watch Mato Say Hey watch this? I put it down a bit more because it's not, it's not as fancy. It's not in line with like what you would think would be like under the category of like Mato Say Hey. But I'll still recommend it mainly because it has like the different. It still has fa fan service. Like there are, there are. Oh, shit, I'm not <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, it's fan service is one. There is still girls in this series, and they do give fan service in their own ways. That one, the one girl on the left, if you see like the cover image, the one with like the ponytail, she's in the swimming club. That's fan service enough. You're welcome. And then freaking Medica, like her, like thing, yeah. <laughs> say less, say less. So there's that going on. What in the center for? I don't know why I put that there, but I put that there. Um. I probably explained the reason why, or like not explained it, but like maybe why I thought there was like a similarity. I I'm trying to think what it might be, and I think I'm guessing that it was like in regards to how there's like the whole like the whole organization thing, and there's like something hidden or something. I I honestly I don't know. I don't remember. And then the last one, this one, um, I don't think there's an anime for this. But I know there's a manga. So I'm mainly going to recommend this mainly because um, it's, it's similar enough. So it's called Shinju no Nectar. Nectar. So this is... um, I've read a bit of this, which was interesting. And then... I don't know. Uh, like, because it, ha it has the whole transformation si situation. And this is a manga. So I just thought, like, this might be an interesting thing that I could recommend. It is manga, so just just fair warning there. I maybe they'll have anime. I don't even know about this. It's 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 two it's it's a series from 2016 and it's still ongoing. But yeah, um I mean I'm trying to remember because I did read this like a long like a, a pretty long time ago, but I don't remember what exactly happened here. But I remember like there was like the whole situation where they had like the like maybe it was closer to Seiko no Quasar. Hmm. Mm. I'm trying to remember. I'll say that as I'm going to like the manga itself. Please load faster, cause I know yeah there's the girl the girl with the horn and then it's it's a whole isekai thing and the guy. The guy and the girl, and then they get together. Ah, yeah, he didn't have like, he didn't show his eye, and then like, he like tra. The thing is, I remember that he like transforms. Uh. Uh huh. Ah. Oh, this is Seiko no Quasar. Yeah, no, cause the thing is, he like. Yeah, 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 yeah. He transforms and stuff like that, like this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I mean, if you're interested in <laughs> Seiko no Quasar stuff like this, I would recommend this. Let me take that out. I mainly put it there because, like, I remember the main guy transforms, but I forgot the process of how he transforms. I know he ate something. I didn't know he was, like, dining in on that specifically. So this is a bit different. I will not put that here for this series. If it's Seiko no Quasar, and if you know what I'm talking about, then I would recommend Shinju no Nectar. Nectar. For, for if, if you like Seiko no Quasar. Like, it's a good, it's, I don't know if it's a good read. I haven't read it in quite a while. I just, like, read it. I was like, what the fuck is this? It's like, keep going. It's like, huh, interesting. And then I kind of stopped because it was still, like, up, updating. 
and then I just never went back to it. It's one of those series. So yeah. Anyways, this was a lot longer than I thought. I'm so sorry. If you like these kind of sex, the review parts, then great. If you don't, I think you're already gone at this point. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao!